Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here giving you another video and in today's topic we're actually going to be talking about my thoughts on the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition of the original trilogy which is GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas. Recently I've been seeing a lot of uh, upset people on YouTube which has also made make a video of my own. I'm not too sure as to why people seem to be so annoyed uh, in terms of like why this uh, definitive edition, which is a very strange name, I'll give it that, it is a very very odd name to pick. I don't know why so, loads of people are actually so annoyed about the uh, new remasters of these original games. I actually don't understand why these original games are getting so much hate uh, in terms of these remasters. Now I don't think it's a bad thing, the uh, definitive edition, I can't wait to play it and these, what, next week can't go fast enough, in my opinion. But here I'm just going to show you what the original GTA Vice City is running like on the PlayStation 5. And as you can see there are a lot of pop-ins, graphical issues. And it's just confusing as to why so many people are saying that this new definitive edition looks trash, it looks really bad, blah blah blah. In my opinion, considering what these games are, I mean I grew up playing these games, as I'm sure a lot of people are. But for those people that haven't played these games before... You are definitely missing out on a, on a wicked storyline and a trilogy, but I do think that when you get the opportunity to play this game, you will be a bit like, wow, you know, they actually really did revamp everything, and it, it will look a lot clearer and a lot better than what, you know, what a lot of people would deem as, as modern. Do you know what I mean? Granted, you could have some of these mods for free, and the modding community have been slapped pretty hard. But unfortunately, the way that I would look at it is, is obviously, if you have competition, you'd get rid of that competition no matter what. Granted, I'm not saying it's fair to start slapping people with, you know, lawsuits and taking them down and, you know, threatening them, all this crazy stuff. I do think it's a bit out of order. But if you had a brand new definitive edition of your said game... I don't understand why people are throwing so much shade over, like, it's a corporation and a business at the end of the day, and it makes them money, the same way that people who do these modding communities and stuff for free, I mean, when the new ones come out, I guarantee you their mods will be through the roof, I mean, for the first, what, year or so, there'll be a really big, you know, pattern on it, issues, you're not allowed to mod it, but then after that, it'll be like how the original trilogy was, you know, people will just generally mod it, make it better, make it look higher, run at a higher frame rate. The real thing that I was looking at recently that did actually interest me a lot though, was that they were saying that the original uh, trilogy, the definitive edition, will now be running at 4K30 on the PlayStation 5, which I do find a bit interesting, at least put it at like 4K60, or you know, like maybe a bit of ray tracing, that would have been pretty cool. But hey, you know, uh, what's it, Grove Street Studios, is uh, I believe, as they're called. I can kind of understand why their their whole demographic, if you would, is to try and up-res everything. And for those people that are very unsure or throwing loads of shade to this, to these, like, remastered trilogies, I mean, if you like the original, then you're going to like the remasters. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Oh, 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 where'd you come from? Falcon Cat! <laughs> And albeit, I mean, most of these people, by the screenshots from what I see, it's not that I don't understand or see what people are specifically saying about this game. It's just annoying to see that so many people before the game has released are so like, oh, you know, it's not going to be like the original, they, they fucked up some of these characters, they look like toys and stuff. In my opinion, they're just a higher res version of what they were meant to look like anyways. Granted, they were meant to be cartoony. The only one I know for a fact that wasn't meant to be cartoony, air quotations, was San Andreas. San Andreas was the one where they kind of buckled down and tried to make it more realistic and understandable, which is why San Andreas is probably still one of the most, you know, standout games out of all three of them. You know, there was a lot that that game could do. I'm not trying to say that these new definitive editions won't have their own quirks or glitches or, you know, but I'm hoping for the best for these games considering that they are my favourite kind of games to play. The original GTA trilogy themselves are just good. I mean, you know, Vice, San Andreas and GTA 3 are easily probably one of the better works that they've done recently, especially in terms of a remake. Granted, GTA 4 hasn't had this kind of treatment, which I'm really, really upset about, but... Hey, you know, I suppose the world will go around, who knows, we might get a GTA 4 remaster, which I would really, really like as well. Because GTA 4 was good, as long as it's nothing to do with GTA 5 or GTA Online, I think most people would be very, very happy with what they've got. What are you doing, Sorry to run. Hey, man. Ah, uh, yes. I see that you know your judo well. 
You have no idea how close to okay. death you are right now. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. Don't be a wise guy. Basically, to keep this video really short, I'm excited to see what this trilogy is going to look like, especially with the new res, the new loadout menu, which is supposedly like GTA 5. So instead of pushing L1 to change or to change your weapons or the radio station, it will be a will like it is in GTA 5. So I suppose in aspects, they've actually been able to kind of fix the game to what it's going to be instead of what it isn't now because going back to this game especially with the playstation 5 it just shows its age but i suppose with these original trilogies you have to take that with a grain of salt for a lot of people including myself this trilogy means a lot and for people to like ruin it air quotations i think is a bit harsh i would like to wait and see and what this new uh, definitive edition is going to change make better because there are a lot of issues with this said game especially within today's standards so hopefully once it does release we'll be sitting here going wow you know what that was actually a really good part of the original but for now I feel like a lot of people are giving this a lot of shade I know that it's expensive especially in the UK it's 55 quid in America it's $60 but you have to remember these are three games that are back from nearly 20 years ago and now getting a new revamp, a fresh coat of paint. And if you haven't played the stories or you have, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to look at this new trilogy and replay these original stories to kind of get a sense of like, wow, this is what Rockstar really are capable of instead of doing the traditional GTA 5 and GTA 5 Online. That's my take on it. Well, in saying that, I'm going to stop rambling on now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like right in and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my boys. Peace out. Alpha Centauri.